X Force wins our debut Volta World Tournament in Berlin, Germany. We are the kings of Deutschland futsal. Ladies and gentlemen, Volta Story Mode is back. And before we get started here, this series is going to change a little bit uh, as we get closer to the end of the actual story. Um, so what's going on is I'm recording this on a Sunday night, two days before WWE 2K20 comes out. And we're planning on doing a huge WWE 2K20 Universe Mode series going to take up a lot of my time as far as the gaming aspect of the channel goes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to blaze straight through the rest of volta so i'm going to be skipping some matches and and you know whatever else more Issy hitman that's a pretty cool name all right but we're headed to rio large pitch walls 3v3 rush looks like a knockout tournament first to five probably standard stuff I'm just more excited to see the environments more so than anything else because I think that's what EA is doing a, a good job with right now. I love how Sid hasn't played in like three episodes now. What former Team 10 member are they, or J10 member are they going to run into here? Oh, thanks, Sid. Streets and ballers. How do we know this person? Is this a former? Oh, she was on J10, right? I think she was. <laughs> nice one there, Rev. Remember where you are. Yeah, we're in Brazil, Bobby. Like, did they expect me to remember her? Like, I remember because we did an episode that she was in, and I made a comment about her when she was in a cutscene, but if we... If I hadn't been recording this, if I was just playing this for fun, there's no way I would remember her. Like, do they expect me to do that? Oh my god, why is Sid on my team? Who chose this? Oh, it was me. I didn't set my lineup. <laughs> this is two kids. She's, she's literally playing with two kids. That's pretty funny. Okay, but because of this, we do get to see the debut of... of this person whose name is also Sid for some reason. Why are the goals so big? Holy shit. Look at how huge the goals are for 3v3 rush game. Whoa, I mean the field is huge, but wow. Rio Ringers, that's their name as well. There you go, Ajax, here we go. Looking for pow. And the head. Pow finishing the game off. It wasn't even a challenge. Look at that little Cruyff pad, the Rabona pass. The Rabona chip through ball from Ajax. Why are you out of breath? You barely moved. Ajax, what are you talking about? We just starched that entire team. Where are the big kids? Everyone's watching Vinicius on TV. Vinicius? You've heard. He plays. Pro How do you not? Why did she just suddenly get way more Australian? Hitman, 
I'm sure you would, Bobby. That's why you didn't crack the X Force. Nah, we came here to see you, Bobby. Come on, baby. Ajax, what are you doing? But I'm retired. We can go after it. What are you doing? There's literally a professional playing, like, apparently down the street. I don't understand anything about what's going on, but apparently there's a professional playing down the street. It must be Big T. That what it, that's what it has to be. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll take... Oh my... Oh my god, what has happened? What has happened? <laughs> I just turned this entire team into powder with those moves, and then I just missed the easy shot. Oh no! Oh dear. I feel like they definitely did make these kids better. Bobby Pillay. I didn't know what the hell her name was. Does it matter? Oh, pow. Pow, please! Why are these kids everywhere? Thank you, Big T. At this point, I could just I could shoot anywhere. It's going to go in. Look at the size of these goals with no goalkeepers. Look at this. That shot's going two miles an hour. He just ducked out of the way. Ines Rocha. He just, Big T just matrixed the ball from a two-year-old. Oh, that's gorgeous. Big T should be playing on offense. Little Superman landing with that Selly. I'm moving Big T up to forward. Jerry Maguire gets to play defense. Oh, there you go, pal. All right, time to emasculate a kid. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I'm going to hell for for doing that to a virtual kid. That kid, that kid is a kid. He is a kid. What? It said the game was to five. It's suddenly to three. Okay. It definitely said the game was to five, though. Like on the top, the check marks. Oh, we're gonna. <laughs> they're gonna make us watch this again. That wasn't even a good. I already beat him before I did the skill. That's the. That's the terrible part about that. Hey, we're on the journey. We're on the journey to 80 overall for Big Ajax. All right, so we recruit. Is it possible to not. Oh my god, we can't even recruit one of the kids. Bobby is literally the worst player on this team. Are you seeing this? this is, oh my good Jesus. Who do I have to give up for her? I have to kick someone off the team. Flo V. I don't want to kick anybody off the team for Bobby. You know what? Okay, I'm not going to do it, actually. I'm not going to do it, and let's see what happens. Oh, it's Venetius. Why are they here? Is that his actual voice? Did they have him do voice acting? Rev, Bobby, Vinicius Jr. is asking if we'd like to play against Vinicius Jr. And a couple of my friends. You know, he's... Yo. And Vinicius hey, yo. Is he it's like Scott Hall. Vinicius Anybody who watched Jr. wrestling in the 90s? Which I didn't, I've just seen videos. Why is she translating when he's speaking English? Sid. Sid. Okay, first to three. All right, so now we finally get to play big people instead of kids. But Bobby's acting like she's getting on the field. She's not getting on this field. Now with this team. The real question is, can I recruit Venetius? I already, I already know the answer is no, because Volta is not allowed to let me have any fun. Time off from Real Madrid, because, like, the implication here is that he was about to starve for Real Madrid, but then he's just come back to, to mess around with some kids in a random street corner in Brazil. <laughs> like, there's no explanation for why he's here. Which, you know, fine, it's not supposed to be, you know, this isn't supposed to be like Ray Bradbury or anything in terms of the quality of this story, but at least some explanation would be nice. It's just this pro who randomly shows up, like, why is here and no other pro? And why can he defend, like, like, Vincent Company? Like again, I'm not I'm I'm not expecting like the great American novel here out of the story for this game. I just I, I something. This is going to a second half even though it's a 3v3 match, 2-3 played on this absolutely massive field that's clearly designed for 5v5. It's designed for full field futsal. And we're playing 3v3 on it. And we just it took it's taken us like three and a half minutes. 
Okay. Didn't even really put up a fight there, did you, Hannon? Ooh! Ooh, busting out the moves. Oh, I love it. I love it from Pal. I'm not sure that he does, because he didn't know who Venetius was. You're a legend. You didn't even know who he was two minutes ago. Hey, are we going to get an explanation? Apparently not. Okay, a couple things here. First of all, Ajax Revy didn't know who Venetius was like five minutes ago. He's calling him a legend. Second of all, whoa, shoot your shot there, Hitman. But I have to ask you something. How did you find us? So that the Panoin, you schooling your friend. We're always looking for a game against real ballers. Do you realize what I just did to her? Like the school Villanova? Is this how agents make deals these days? With shitty quality video calls? My associates. Is this a Bond movie? Have I stepped into a different game where, like, I'm being invited and she's gonna, like, bust my kneecaps as soon as I get into New York? That's what that sounded like. My associates and I have been watching. We just, got an invitation. We just pulled up to New York. What are you talking about, Ajax? Ah, Sid, you have not played in forever. This is X4, Sid. That's why you don't play for this team. Again, story is like a two, but the visuals, the culture, like everything I'm seeing is like a nine. I feel like this is what a pro-am street football tournament would feel like. Not in New York. I mean, this it doesn't make any sense that this is in New York, but... Alex Hunter? <laughs> okay, that's all right. I'll give him credit for that. I'll give him credit for that. They worked over... Alex Hunter. I didn't even play the journey. I played like two hours and got bored as hell. Ed Van Gil, you don't know. Why would you think that? We're here the first day. This is just every single cliche that the writers have ever heard of in any story ever. They just put it in. The drat. Oh, okay. Reisman. Oh, Sid. Who's not playing on the team? They're doing things a little differently this year. As it's a street event, they thought it would be fun if the street players were to pick the pro teams they played for. Damn it. No, I want to get drafted. Oh, they just ruined the fun of this. So there are pro teams playing in this? What about the rest of my crew? Like, the actual good players? Alex Hunter is here for some reason. Select the team. Okay. Graphically, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna pick Dortmund, though. I like Dortmund. Where's Jay at? Oh, he's in rehab, man. Yeah, he's in the gym every day. Almost back far as I know. Hmm. So, what are you doing here? What? I just got off the phone with him. His knee's all good. Yeah? Hey, why are you in New York without him? I'm just here to play, man. This event is for legends. I is he a legend? Whoa, Ed. I don't think so. Uh, why are you two getting up in my face? You see, no respect. No, we wanted Bobby, not him. How are you? Uh, excuse you? I literally beat you in the Netherlands. What are you talking about? Okay, shut up, Ajax. Cool it. Hey, Ed. Man has gone. 
First of all, it's their fault for acting like they're all friends with these people. But why are they so- why do these guys suddenly hate me? Like, what? The characters make no sense. It- I, so, a quick recap, I'm not showing the first round, but I beat Liverpool 12-6. Um, it doesn't sound as impressive. Um, by the way, yes, I am playing on the hardest difficulty. I am playing on Ultimate or Legendary or whatever it is. Um, but it really, me beating Liverpool that badly is not as impressive as it sounds. It's because I figured something out. Not that. It's the concept. Basically, because the goals are so big and there's so few players on the field, the CPU does not understand how to get a player back when I'm in their half immediately, unless they have time. But if I'm on the counter, they don't understand the concept of getting a player back to defend me. So often there's nobody in goal and the goal is absolutely huge. So what I just what I did was I figured out that if I got onto the opponent's half and just shot that yeah, it's manual shooting and so when the goals are small, you often miss by doing that by shooting from that far away. But when the goals are this big, you don't miss. And there's nobody there to defend it. They can't block it. And they can't use their hands. So you can't, if you put it up, there's no way. So here we go. I mean, this is just, we're just firing shots over and over and over again. The other thing, the other thing that makes this particular trick exploity is that the CPU doesn't know how to do it. Like, if the CPU is just firing shots left and right, which you feel like they should be doing because they're on, they're on, you know, legendary or ultimate or whatever difficulty they're on, they should understand how big the goals are relative to how many players are on the field. If they were firing shots left and right and these games were ending like 13 to 12 or something, I wouldn't have an issue with doing it. It'd just be kind of boring that that's how we're scoring all the goals. There's like 25 goals in a game and it's all because the goals are massive. But the CPU doesn't know how to do it, so I'm sitting here playing intelligently, understanding that there's, that this is how we're doing, because think about it, if you went onto a field that was designed for 5v5 or 6v6, like I used to play on, and you're playing 3v3 on it, would you not just hoy up shots from everywhere? You know, like, that's, that's exactly how you would do it. So, I'm sitting here playing intelligently, and the CPU is just you know, the CPU is, is programmed to do. But this has been our issue with FIFA for a long time, is that the the harder difficulties of the CPU don't feel like they're actually harder, it just feels like their AI is more overpowered than your AI. That's what it feels like, and it's what feels, that's what it feels like now. They're not assessing the situation tactically. Seven goals for Ajax, finishes with a 9.8 match rating for some reason. He beat Man City by himself, but whatever. By the way, the fact that Real Madrid doesn't have Vinicius when it was, like, the whole point of this was that Vinicius was at this tournament and he's the one who invited us, that seems like, I get it, they're playing with legends and whatever, they're playing with the street football legends, so it's two random players from the team and then a street legend, I get it, but you would think that they'd make an exception for Real Madrid considering that that's where Vinicius plays, unless in this universe, Vinicius never played for Real Madrid, no. In, but he does though because because Ajax you know he he said is that the guy who plays for Real Madrid when they brought him up so in this universe Vinicius plays for Real Madrid he comes to this tournament there's a bunch of media attention being made about him and then Real Madrid plays in the tournament and he is not playing with them <laughs> like what is happening yeah look at those scores by the way I did not turn on the difficulty I am legit on legendary right now but I figured out this this exploit. Akanji? Oh! That was a little screen on the goalie there from Schultz. I like it. That was a hockey tactic. Look at this. He came across and screened Van Gills. Little hockey tactic there. You know, it's these little things. I, <laughs> I hate to, to climb back on the soapbox. But it's these little things that would just make FIFA so much better. Like, if you could set tactics like that, like, have a player, have your forward get in front of a defender to screen, you know, and, and you just have little tactical changes like that. It would make such a huge difference to my enjoyment of this, my immersion in this. Like, I feel like I am, oh, Cavani tries that power header. Like, I would feel like that is definitely a foul. I am controlling you know, a team and I'm actually affecting the way they play and the tactics. Like right now, I can't, 
I can't affect the tactics at all in Volta. I'll do it a little bit in uh, just in the normal, just in normal uh, 11 aside matches. That was a tackle. That wasn't even a shot. All right, fair enough. So I can 11 aside matches. It's not super deep. It's not football manager deep, but at least it's something. I appreciate them expanding it. Well, last year they expanded it. They, they didn't really expand it this year. Oh, that should be a red as well. He went studs up straight into the wall. But the fact they don't have it in Volta, it's again it, where they add something and then they don't think it all the way through. And so they're going to take a couple years adding all of the stuff that should have been in Volta this year. They're going to add it back in gradually. So it's going to take them four years before they add anything else major. And you know what? I don't even I don't even blame the developers. It's not like I'm saying the developers are lazy. I don't think it's them. I, it's the it's the yearly schedule, the yearly development cycle. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with the with the developers' ability or anything like that. It's that when you play, that was I thought I was Ajax. It's that when you develop on a yearly cycle, you literally do not have the time to rework your game all the time. You know, you just. You just don't. Games take much longer than a year to develop. Not to mention that EA forces developers to publish their games so early. Why is the trophy? That's just a small thing, but again, the trophies should be different every time. They're the same. It's the same trophy every time. They f the EA forces developers to push out games that aren't ready, and so they spend valuable weeks and months of the next game's development cycle fixing the shit that was wrong in the game that they just had to put out. And if you've been playing FIFA for a number of years, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that that's what they do. Don't engage him. I mean, he's a dick. Like, let's, let's be real, but come on. Suddenly, Hitman's all cool. Uh, you should call Jay. What is Jay dead or something? Ooh. Looks like Jay's healthy, even though it's been like two weeks and he blew up his knee, so I don't understand. Where's your camera crew? Hey. The whole squad's nearly here. Ready to train, yeah? How's New York? It was sick. I wish you'd been there. You know, I'm, I'm just standing there. Bag in hand, wait for my ride to the airport. And I get a text from B, tell me I've been replaced. And you know, while I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong, I get a call from and kills and kills. That's a real friend. I would have found out anyway. It's all over your channel because you can't help yourselves. Okay, am I missing something? But then I beat the hell out of them. I beat the holy hell out of these players. Jay, what is... Oh my god, this story does not make any sense. You embarrass me, I won! I won the tournament! What are you talking about? We won! Yeah, first of all, I was invited, okay? Exactly, so now Jay's all pissed? You couldn't have called? Oh my god, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. Yeah, Jay, we've been traveling all over the world doing whatever the hell you tell us to do. This is so stupid. Yeah, Jay. God, this story is so dumb. Like, I'm actually losing my mind about this. They're ready to train. All right, so let's just figure this out later, yeah? Already figured it out. Show yourself in Buenos Aires. <sighs> this is the actual dumbest story. Like, this has gone beyond just. The, the campy, just dumb, oh my god.
So I guess the next thing is is worlds, which we'll do next episode if I can actually bring myself to record this again and, and get into this. But this, it's one thing if you want to do just a campy, you know, you know, color by the numbers type story. Thanks, man. But this is now descended into making absolutely no sense whatsoever. The characters completely change their motivations. How about that leg room? At like single cutscene, the characters are different. Every single one, the characters behave differently than they did the cutscene before. It makes no sense at all. Like suddenly, you're telling me that Jay couldn't have sent a text. We live in 2019. He couldn't have sent a text. He couldn't have figured that. Like it's so stupid. Like I don't. I don't want to get into the 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 nuts and bolts of the actual story and look for the plot holes and whatever. It's the fact that the characters are not consistent. Do you know how easy it is to tell a story about sports? Do you know how easy that is? And EA, fuck it up. It's the easiest thing you could possibly do and they can't actually do it. I've been trying to hold myself back from actually ranting about this story because I get it. It's, they're, they're, they're rushed, okay? It's. They don't have much time. This is the first time they've tried it in this way, even though they've done the journey, I think, three times by now. So they should know how to do it. But you know what? Fine, I'll give them a pass for all that. But the least you could do, the least you could do is just a paint by numbers, dumb, campy sports story. It's the easiest thing in the world that you could ever do, and EA can't even manage to do that. So whether or not I'm going to manage to be able to play this game for another couple hours to get us to the end of the story mode, I guess we'll have to figure it out. So I'm sorry to end the episode on a rant, but it's been seven episodes now where we're dealing with this stuff, and I can't, I actually cannot. With the amount of gameplay they want me to do, they want me to play this game so much, and this, this is the offering they give me from the story. It's absolutely, it's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, I'm sorry to end on a rant. That's how episode seven is gonna end. Uh, look out for episode eight, where hopefully we're just gonna finish this story. I'm moving on to WWE Universe mode, so keep an eye out for that. I'm actually really excited about making that series because I can actually tell my own stories. I'm not a pro writer, but at least I can do something for myself. So, that one I'm excited for. Keep an eye out for that in the meantime. Subscribe to GA Sports for all of our content now and in the future. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.